Hey, hello everyone. So welcome to our short note series, right? And we have been doing this for quite a while. Hello, hey, Swamya, Swati, Pradeep. So today, the title tells you, right? We are going to master everything on force and pressure, right? Hey, Swani, hello. Going on? Very good. All right, all right. Let's let's wait for another minute. Let let's your let uh, you know let your friends join. Hey, Anshita. So I hope I am clearly audible and visible to you. First of all, let's just check this. Uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. Hey, Sahil. Hey, Prasanna. Even I am excited, Gunan. Hey Raza, what's up? Oh, so Nikhat, you are Maria. All right. I'll try to remember, but you know, don't mind if I forget. Yes. Hey Papia, Zarina. So, I'm clearly audible, visible to you. That's fine. And second thing is, I hope you guys are safe and sound at your home. I mean, the trend is decreasing, but still we need to be safe. I mean, schools are opening slowly, slowly. If if I if I remember, thank you, Anshuman. Hey, Pradeep. All right. Okay. I'm perfectly audible and visible. Let's start. Let's start trying to master everything on force and pressure. Right. So this is like quite a very important chapter. If I tell you, I mean, not just from exam point of view. This is the starting of everything. Whatever you do, forces are there, right? And slowly, slowly, we'll learn what more implication we need to understand, and we'll go towards pressure, right? Oh, grade eight has gone to school, huh? Hey, Harvish. Force multiplier, going to simple machines, huh? All right, cool. Let's start, guys. Let's start with a one very simple observation. If I tell you what is the force, I'm sure all of you will give me the same answer. But have you seen uh, these doors? I mean, you might have noticed that you know something is written over there, and you know it usually happens if something is not written over there, you somehow don't know what to do. I mean, you will try. So my my intention normally is I try to pull because at our homes we have this kind of a thing. No, Anjali, the mentee is not there today. Today we'll focus more on concept learning and understanding. All right, thank you, Gunun. Ah yes, so my inherent thing is I usually try to pull, but somehow it doesn't work. So that's why they very specifically tell you you need to push or you need to pull, right? So if we talk about force, this is what can happen. I mean, it could be either pushing, it could be either pulling, right? Oh, nice, Ravish. Sorry, something else was the name. I forgot. It's okay. Yes. Ha huh, no menti today menti is not there guys i know you love menti you love to answer and you know see the leaderboard but uh, when we try to discuss a session or you know learn more about concepts menti is good for questions right i think you will agree with me on that so today let's discuss questions all right <laughs> you push often ashish ha huh, so this this ha huh. yes pratima it's a very good question and don't worry i'll answer this question in this very session All right. So, what is force now? We can discuss what is force. I told you two things are possible: push or a pull. So, what if I slide? What you did? You are pushing only, right? You are pushing in this direction. Simple. So, push or pull. So, what is a force? Nice, Zarina. Very good. It's a it's a, a perfect answer. Yes, Papiya. Correct. So, force. It is a push or a pull acting on the object. Simply, you can tell this. This is enough to say about force. You could either pull, you could either push. Right? Quite simple. Yes. Nice. All right. Oh, Anjali is leaving, huh? Okay, no problem. All right. Yes. So force is fine. The unit. Unit is Newton. Right? Very famous name in the world of science. So the SI unit is Newtons. and always remember when you are writing newton as a word you will write it like this but as a unit you will write it like this so the rule is if it is named after a scientist you usually ca use capital right yeah it is possible 
if there is no force an object is moving that is perfectly possible you will learn this don't worry all right thank you sir yes correct newton that's true so what do we learn what did we learn about force it is a push or pull acting on an object right basic basic stuff that's fine now one more thing i just want to uh, i would make you realize because you have seen this thing in this session what do we do we don't give you a mind map we create a journey right with each learning this mind map will keep on creating itself right and that's how we know this much steps we have taken forward right fine ha huh, nice nice this is the symbol correct so let's move forward once you have realized what is a force we need to understand what causes a force right correct ha huh, anshuman if there is force but ha huh, there is there are a few nitty gritties over there i'll mention don't worry but yes without force things can move but with constant velocity don't worry we are coming to it <laughs> autograph of newton a lot of people wish for this all right video is not clear ha huh, divya so uh, i think it's clear for everyone so just try uh, changing the settings of your uh, uh, youtube you know to uh, high resolution or try to refresh i think that should sort it out all right correct so let's move forward let's talk about what causes a force right so what causes a force come on have you seen this game i mean you know in exhibition and all uh, when we were kids we don't usually go for it because we know this this mark will not go uh, up if we do it but uh, adults used to do it so hammer arcade game it's it's a matter of force how much force you apply right how much hard you hit the hammer the more this pointer will go up correct yes yes papier correct oh nice detailed answer very good sec so at least what do we want we want things to interact with each other right for a force to come into place things should interact with each other that is the first understanding all right so interaction of object with another this is the cause of a force i'm not telling interaction is it like touching or with distance also no interaction is important that's the first important word fine uh, yes carrom board correct it's a good a good example interaction and and ah uh, energy also yes if you have energy then only you can apply force that's also true all right so the learning about cause of force is interaction is the word interaction of one object with another can result into force fine yes <laughs> thank you master of learning nice sarthak it's a, it's a good answer yes yes okay yeah that's a good answer correct ludo ludo sir whatever you do do you remember anything where you not applying force except sleeping but still you are applying force over there also on the bed so still let's not digress over there come on let's move forward so we understood force we understood what causes a force let's move towards what can a force do what could be the effects of a force right that is that is the step by step method we are taking right theek hai are ho gaya ho gaya yes yes amount of force we use that's that's more like quantitative thing right how much force you are applying we are talking qualitative stuff right now force causes the force what can a force do come on i want answers what can a force do what do you think now this is where your question will be answered uh, i don't know who asked this third law of motion yes yes that is correct yes pratima so, yes your question was this if resultant force is zero can the body move or not let's first of all talk what can a force do what can force do if a thing is at rest if let's say this is at rest i don't want to drop it so i can make it move right if i apply force on this it can move i can bring a body from rest into motion by applying force correct yes change in state is a very good uh, uh, statement over here suhani has given nice correct so change in state is one thing you can stop a moving body right you can bring moving body to rest motion into rest force can also change the speed of a moving body right if speed is changing means there is a force right so slowly slowly uh, pratima i think you will uh, you will understand where we are going if a force is applied means state will change correct which means what is a constant state if a body is moving with a constant velocity same speed in the same direction it does not need a force and if you have a confusion after the session what you do i want you to do is just seek for 
uh, asteroids in space. What's going on? They are moving, they are drifting in the space. Is there any force? No. Which means they are moving with constant velocity. If they want to change their direction or velocity, they need a force. Fine. Yes, very good Prasanna. Sorry, uh, Prashansa. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, correct. Change in direction. That's true. We have just discussed this. Or change in shape. I mean, that's quite evident now. Change in shape. If I try to press this bottle, I'm not able to do it. And this answer is also you will get in this session only. I'm trying to press it not. Why? The cap is closed. If I open the cap, I can change its shape, right? So what can a force do? Change the state, change the direction, change the shape. Simple, right? Fine. Yes. Very good. I, I, I can see a lot of good answers. What is velocity? Velocity is what? It's a vector quantity. Speed of a body plus direction, right? Magnitude plus direction. That's a vector quantity. Don't worry. We'll talk about this. While stopping the ball, we are doing what? Huh. While stopping a ball, you are doing mostly push. Ball is coming towards you. How do we do it? Ball is coming towards you. And what you did? You catch it. You applied a push force, right? Magnitude. Huh. How much force you applied? You will say, let's say 10 Newton. 10 is what? The magnitude. This much. Speed kitna hai. How much speed is there? You will say, let's say, 10 meter per second. What is this? The magnitude of speed, right? Magnitude tells you how much is the, is the, is the quantity. Fine. All right. Yes, yes. Force and mass. Don't worry, don't worry. We are coming. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Let's take it slow, right? We are talking about effects of force, causes of force, right? So, effects of force. Change in state of motion, direction, speed, and shape of the body. All right. Yes. Thank you, Nipa. Uh, I'm really not sure right now, but huh. Uh, you can post this in the comment and the team will take care and whatever happens now you will get the notification for sure Yes A push from a side and a lift from the opposite side <laughs> So what you're talking Ananthi right now is multiple forces are there. Don't worry. We are coming to it What is Newton It's the unit of force creative sisters? Yes huh, How do we know we have applied force 10 Newton of force? Uh, have you seen those spring balances, let's say, right? Spring balances, they have marked, they have marked Newton. So if you hang a 1 kg block, it will read around 9.8 Newton. So Newton is a force. So right now, understand this, whatever force, when we're talking about quantitative word, right? How much force? Then we answer it with a number and a unit. The number is the magnitude, unit is, you know, it tells you what is it, right? All right. SI unit of, uh, 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 no, 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 so Pradeep. Newton is the SI unit of force, right? No, so any mentee is not there. Let's discuss content now. Come on, let's interact. Let's move forward. Come on. Type of forces now. You have said forces are there. Yes, what is it you have said? Next, you have said what is the cause of force? That is also fine. Next, you have said what is the effect of force? That's also fine. Now, let's talk about what types of forces do we have, right? Slowly, slowly. One by one, we'll learn uh, advanced level concepts, right? Yes, so honey, you are right over there. I think you are moving ahead of the session, but still, don't worry, pressure is going to come in the session only. Type of forces. Yes, very good, Vishnu. Contact and non-contact forces. All right, so let's talk about contact forces. The word gives you an idea what a contact force means. A contact is necessary, right? Where do you need contact? Whatever things you do, I mean, unless and uh, until and unless you are not like, uh, what do we say, X-Men, you know, uh, uh, Jean Grey or something, you can just move things with your hand. So if we can't do it, right, means we need contact. So all right, two or more objects are in physical contact with each other. One thing is muscular force, right? To apply force, your muscles need to make contact with the thing, right? Touching force, yes. Yes, interaction between them because of contact. Yes, you're right. Oh, it's okay, Swani. don't worry. Ha. So, Pratima, answer I can give you, but it might be a little ahead. So, it's okay, it's okay. But, ha, uh, dine is, is the word. Alright? But, ha, don't worry. Others, don't focus on that. SI unit is Newton, this much is enough for you. Alright? English grammar, are, it's not good. So, I think... Uh, uh, your English ma'am would be a better person to do this. 
My English is not very good if I tell you the truth. Alright, so come on, let's get back. Contact force. Muscular force is a type of contact force. Alright. Next, frictional force. This is another contact force. Friction cannot work without contact. Right? It needs contact. Then only it can work. Right? Ha, Anshuman, you are right. Gravitational, electromagnetic, strong, weak. Yes, yes. You are, you, are, you are very much correct over there. But right now, at this level, we talk about two types in a manner of contact. Right? So all these segregations will come. So uh, you are right over there anyways. Yes, Zarina. Their objects are non-contact, non-contact. Objects are not in contact. And we have seen this force. Very evidently we have seen this force. So two types of contact forces we have learned. Muscular, what we do, right? To apply force, we need to, we need to make contact with the body. Second is frictional force. I mean, if I want to slide it over my hand right if i want to slide this over my hand it is it is facing some opposing force that is what friction it needs contact so two types of contact forces muscular and friction fine yes ha uh, nice sarthak it's, it's a good answer it's a detailed answer yes friction needs contact prasun sir you are right yes anshuman you are also right yeah 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 you are right there so non contact forces what is the symbol given to you it's a magnet we have played with magnets like what happens you bring a magnet near a iron piece it just if you bring it close enough it goes force acted interaction happened was there a contact no to apply a force there was no contact required these are non contact forces all right anjita sorry I, I think i missed your question All right. Hey, Sujata. So, non-contact force is also clear, right? Huh. Non-contact force, example, magnetic. But one more is there. Come on, come on. Think, 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 think. Gravitation force. If you drop something, air force, all force are non-contact. Ah, uh, if you go, still, let's talk in broad perspective, right? So. Yes, electrostatic force, gravitational force, you are right, exactly you are right. Gravitational force is what? If you drop a ball, it falls to the earth. Why? Was there a magnet? No, it was the gravity that caused this, right? So that's why. Frictional forces. I would say at this level, na, think of, it's like friction, right? Opposing force, a force which opposes the relative motion, right? I won't go into cold welding and all these things, but still just focus on friction is the opposing force, which, which opposes what? Relative motion, not motion. These both are moving. Relative motion, fine. <laughs> all right. You can say. All right, come on guys, come on, focus, focus, focus. I think we are digressing over there a little bit. So, sorry. Three types of non-contact force, gravitational, right? Electrostatic and magnetic. Is it clear? And we all have seen, right? Magnets can do this. Gravitational force can do this. And electrostatic, a uh, very easy example, which normally you might have seen is, uh, you know, I won't do it with my hairs, but uh, you can do it. So you can take a balloon, rub it on your head and bring it near to the pieces of paper. Or you can just do it with your pen also. You can take a pen, rub it on your head and bring it near the, near the piece of paper. They will start attracting, right? Simple. This is what? Static charges, electrostatic force, correct? All right. So this is non-contact force. Thing is, they act when objects are not in physical contact. That is important, right? All right. Okay. So this much is clear. Fine. Ha, uh, woolen sweater. Yes, correct. Yes, yes. Ha, uh, gravitation or electrostatic? I would say. If you take this, now, electrostatic forces are stronger to gravitation. So, I, Pradima, I can see your question, but you know what? Uh, let's answer it in the question session, because today, if I if I deal with this, no, we'll digress from the from the thing where you want to go. Fine. Let's focus right now. But ha, there are types of frictional forces. You will see about you know uh, uh, what what do I say? Cold welding happens, and these kind of interaction happens. Yes, electrostatic force. You are right over there, Pavishka. <laughs> I 
so uh, ashish it will also depend on the exact scenario right so if you talk about let's say if you if you create hole on this thing right if you if you create a hole on the on the bottle in which water is filled it will come out fall down correctly right so what happened there yes nuclear forces unnati but i won't go there first of all come on let's move forward so till now you have seen forces you have seen cause of forces you have seen effect of forces and we all agreed upon a force can change the state change the direction change the shape fine why are we talking about resultant force now think i mean is it like if you apply a force a body will always do it is it for sure no only telling about force if i apply a force it will move that's not that's not true what you need you need a resultant force why am i saying this i'll tell you so on this block if you if you notice over here there are two forces acting right when two or more forces are acting on the object in same direction what will happen our intuition tells this very clearly there is a net force there is a resultant force in one direction in which direction in this direction why 5 and 5 are acting in the same direction they will add up right so that's why i'll say resultant forces sum up all the forces 5 plus 5 well i'll say 10 newton right net force is 10 newton very good uh, jay prakash yes bhavishka ha both direction same side add up opposite direction they will subtract yes and it it will also matter which force is bigger yes resultant force net force acting on an object so till now whatever we experience whatever we learn just add one more word over there resultant if there is a resultant force on an object it can change its direction it can change its state it can change its shape what do we need net force right so that is the important word so when two or more forces are acting on the object in opposite directions you know very well right <laughs> yes pankaj yes correct so you know this now they are acting in opposite directions means they will cancel each other out correct yes so if we had gone with our previous mentality if this block is kept can we say force is not there forces are there right there are two forces but what mattered resultant force that's why resultant force is a very important concept and wherever you mention force it becomes very important to say net force all right yes zero is the answer difference of the forces it is zero so with this concept we come towards balanced resultant forces two types could be there balanced or unbalanced what are balanced forces the net force acting on an object is equal to zero it could be like both are pulling or both are pushing right it should be same direction same magnitude fine sorry not opposite direction and same magnitude unbalanced force the net force acting on an object is not equal to zero means there is some resultant force yeah anshuma ha huh, it's a, it's a good thought actually yes okay ananthi you have been asking this question for quite a while resultant if you are asking me right you are telling me if i am pulling and i am pushing from this side you can you can believe right what what happens over this thing if i was pushing over here and i was pushing over here i am doing this thing your intuition will tell you the resultant force would be around in this direction right so but here for this grade for this level it's enough to understand in one direction only right yes uh ha theek hai all right five star class yes all right so with this concept i think let's time to do an ile i mean ile i we just call it internally ile you can say it's more like a uh, interactive learning right so let's talk about this thing and ha with this i would say in the description also we have a couple of uh, uh, you know uh, ile's for you and you can check them out and they are pretty good it's it's a nice way to learn things all right so let's focus guys comments are not there yes 
वेक्टर जयप्रकाश डोंट वरी राइट नाउ यू यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन दिस थिंक ऑफ यू नो फोर्स कॉजेस इफेक्ट स्लोली स्लोली यार यू आर इन एर्थ राइट स्लोली स्लोली यू विल लर्न ऑल दीज थिंग्स आई अंडरस्टैंड एट दिस एज एंड एट दिस ग्रेड वी आर टू ईगर टू लर्न एवरीथिंग बट वेन इट कम्स इन इलेवन ट्वेल्थ यू स्टार्ट थिंग ओ सो मच बट हाँ इट्स ओके टेक इट स्लो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज वॉट एवर यू आर लर्निंग टूडे लर्न इट वेल बिकॉज टूमोरो इट विल कम अगैन एंड इट विल बी बिगर एंड बेटर राइट ठीक है All right. So, come on. What do you see? And you can help me out over here. Use your knowledge of net force to drag and drop players in each team, such that blue team wins round one, and red team wins round two. All right. So we have marked in blue. You can see we have five newton and five newton. So two girls are there, and you know they are they are applying force of five newton. And you can very evidently say they are pulling. Right? They are pulling in which direction? in this direction fine yes yes guys answer come on which player should i drag you help me out drag and drop the options on the highlighted area the boy in team red is able to apply 7 newtons but what is my goal i want them to i want the red team to <coughs> i'm sorry yes uh we want the red team to lose yes okay tell me come on bhavishka is saying 3 1 and 4 vishnu is saying 1 and 4 guys hold on round 1 who should win blue team should win means what do you need net force should be in which direction in blue team's direction then only blue team win win right hey ankita good evening so come on tell me tell me ha ah, right net force should be in the direction of blue team now think again here it is 10 newton here right now it is 7 newton you want this thing to win means the force over here should be less than 10 newton right then only it will move in this direction understanding hai na nahi hota so four nahi hoga if so if i tell you if i add four over here it will become 7 plus 4 is what come on 11 11 minus 10, 1 newton in this. Red will win. No, that's why you want blue to win, and the answer would be 1 newton. If I drag and drop 1 newton, what happened? The blue team won, right? Blue team wins as the net strength is more than team red. All right. So now, oh, nice five star. So come on. Next, it's round two now. blue team has won once fine now you have to say what or which player should i add in the team red such that now team red wins yes yes so uh, ashish there is one more level na you can see a, bl a blank box over here means means now what you have to do is you have to add one more player right you have to add one more player into the red team which one should i add 1 newton 2 newton or 3 newton that's my question okay so you are saying 3 newton sarthak is saying 1 newton 1 newton ha ah? ha ah, yes utsav prashansa very good very good 3 3 3 3 3 3 are 1 kyun hoga If you add one, this will be what? Seven plus one plus one means nine. Blue is ten. You want more than ten. So who will work? This girl will do the job. Now what is happening? Total is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. On the red side it is eleven newton. On the blue side it is ten newton. Who will win? Red will win, right? Nice. So I can see a lot of you supported me well. Very good, very good. So this is how this. interactive game works right and you can learn a lot of things two of them i think two of them or one of them is there in the description so just check it out after the session and you know it's it's good so and you know every observation this is what we uh, what we did right now it was an observation after this normally every uh, game or every interactive element is accompanied with a question so a spaceship is experiencing force in four direction in which direction will it move now based on what we have just now learned 
I don't think I need to answer this because you can give me the answer. Guys, spaceship is experiencing force in four directions. Which direction will move? Come on. Right now we have forces in four directions. Five star class. Ha. Dekho, ab kya kuch sessions me I am there, so I might come. So it's it's possible. All right. Okay, I'm getting the answers is south. All right, all right. So I think you guys are very clear with this now, right? You are pretty, pretty evidently you can see that east and west is seven and seven. Opposite direction means cancel out. So I will not worry about east and west now. I'll talk about north and south. All right, north it is eight. South it is ten. Means the answer is south. Yes, Pradeep, you are right over there. Very good. Correct. So this is all about how you do an IELTS. All right. So I would I would very much recommend you to practice those two IELTS given to you in this uh, uh, in the description. And uh, yeah, let's move to the session. Right. Let's come back to our session. Let's enhance our learning. First of all, what did we learn till now? We learned resultant force. A single force that would produce the same effect as multiple forces. The resultant, the net resultant force, and that is one very important word. Wherever you are using force, it becomes very impressive to use this net force, right? No, no, Anshuman. It was seven, seven in east and seven in west. So it got cancelled. Eight in north and ten in south. That's why it was like south, right? Ten minus eight is two newton. Resultant was two newton towards south. All right. Thank you, Swani. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Let's move forward. Go on. Ha. So I think you guys were ahead of the session and you were answering about pressure. Let's move to pressure. Right. Only one is there, huh? Okay. So one will be. I mean, I wasn't sure. But ha. There is something for you to try. So try it. I would say. Right. Vishal. All right. Okay. Let's move forward. Let's talk about pressure. So. Till now, we discussed force, all right, effects of force, causes of force, types of force, resultant force. But you know what? Force has more implications. It's not just about force. There are multiple things to it. There are layers to it. There is one more layer as pressure. Why are we discussing pressure? I mean, you have noticed if you if you if you are fond of cricket, you might have seen these wickets, right? They have this pointed thing at the bottom, and not even not even wickets. It's okay, right? nails or this pen right it is pointed correct so what is the matter i mean when this person is trying to trying to force the wicket in the ground this pointing this pointness helps why oh that is the magic of my team <laughs> i am just a teacher over there five star class <laughs> All right. Yes, very good, very good. So, how much force you are applying and its effect is at how much area? That is also a very important thing. Why? Then only the effect becomes more, right? To increase the effect of force, you need these kind of things, and that's where pressure comes into picture. So, what is pressure? Perpendicular force. What is perpendicular? 90 degrees. If this is my surface, 90 degrees to it, right? Got this? Yes, very good. So, force perpendicular force acting on a unit area of surface is pressure. Force is in newtons. Area is in we understand this meter square. So, it becomes newton per meter square, and that's this thing is named as pascals. Again, on the name of scientist, right? Yes, very good, Anshu. Correct. Yes. Oh, nice, Arthak. This is how you will write an exam. Okay. Yes, smaller the area, greater is the pressure. Ha, Anshuman, you are right. So, thrust word right now we don't use at this grade, but ha, perpendicular force acting is what we call as thrust, right? You are you are right over there, Anshuman. All right, okay. Pressure is clear. All right. Now, based on this learning, you create objects for more and more impact. You have seen in deserts. You might have heard this, right? Camels are more effective, horses are less effective, and humans—I mean, we are most ineffective. Why? Because 
because sand what is sand sand is a loose object right camels have bigger hoofs means area is more means means pressure is less human human have smaller feet right means area is less means pressure is more you will you will sink in right are you so going really forward moment of force <laughs> ship of the desert i i i think it's called na anshuman <laughs> guys focus focus come on come on yes so thing is clear nail we all know nail should be pointed if it is not pointed how will it go in that's why knives blunt knife no use right you need to get the knife sharpened afterwards sharp knife very good so this is how it works fine so these are all how you design your objects for more and more impact theek hai what was the thing pressure so what is pressure the perpendicular force acting on unit area of surface this was pressure fine let's talk about now fluids so i think anshuman is love with this topic pressure exerted by fluids right ha nice sir tak yes yes you are right over there correct oh athar i don't know my friends right oh athar thank you <laughs> all right anshita don't worry i understand yeah it becomes sometimes boring to chat but ha huh, slowly this feedback will be taken oh priya thank you all right pressure exerted in fluids is a little different i would say why let's talk first of all liquids and gases exert pressure on the walls of the container right so if this bottle is there right it is also the water inside it is applying force on the wall sir how do you know if you pierce a hole in this what happens water comes out it is coming out because there was a force right so the thing about liquid pressure is two very important things increases with depth now all these things are you know it's very relatable how do you say because when you go in i don't know if you have gone for swimming or anywhere when you go inside the swimming pool near the surface you feel pressure right your your ears and everything they they feel pressurized yes so pressure in liquids or fluids so collectively what do we say liquids and gases they are what fluids in fluids pressure increases with depth fine and it is exerted in all directions yes very good ut sir that's true drag and friction these are two different so drag you know uh, it's 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 more towards air friction it's a special term for air friction and it goes into uh, aerodynamics you know streamlining a body but ha huh, if at this level if you ask me i would say let's call it in a way friction only right air friction yes shrishti very good so now the effect of this you might have seen let's say you pour a cold drink so what happens bubbles come at the at the at the surface and somehow their size slowly slowly increases they go up and pop they pop out right yes yeah that i i got your really thank you ha all right anshuman going into aerodynamics now we are hai na <laughs> it's okay it's okay i mean this is more towards airplane uh, uh, you know how it lifts so don't worry about this right now guys focus focus on the great come on come on let's get back so the effect of this is liquid pressure increases with the depth right as the bubble comes towards the surface the pressure on the bubble is reducing means bubble grows in size all right theek hai prashan sir it's okay don't worry about drag right now don't be confused come on let's move forward now pressure exerted by gases now gas molecules exert so they are in motion right they are in motion they are striking the walls of the container in here example they are striking the walls of the balloon this is what gives them pressure internal pressure so the gas inside is exerting pressure outwards the pressure outward or you know there is pressure on us right don't worry i'll be talking right now there is pressure outward which is pressurizing is inside and it's all about the balance right theek hai so let's talk about balloon when you feel more and more and more and more and more air i mean i'm really scared of this if it bursts while inflating but why because 
internal pressure working outwards became more than outward pressure sir which outward pressure don't worry we'll talk about this it became more and the and the material of the balloon was not able to sustain it it bursts fine fluid siddharth fluid is see solids you know right molecules are tightly packed fluid is molecules are moving they can move here and there here and there so liquids we have and gases we have gases they have huge intermolecular spaces so these together we call it liquid and gases as fluid right fluid which can flow okay fluid i just explained yes sir you are right so what we learned about pressure about fluids uh, liquids and gases exert pressure on the walls of the container now comes a very interesting topic right this is what we call as atmospheric pressure we are saying fluids means liquids and gases they can apply pressure right so what do you have where, where are you you are on earth what do you have around you we have atmosphere for kilometers up ahead what is this it's all atmosphere it's all gases and you are sitting at the bottom of an ocean of air right means you are supposed to get pressurized that is what we call as atmospheric pressure got the idea yes rishti yes yes you are right guys ha huh? don't spam <laughs> i think if you are answering na one or two uh, once or twice is fine but if you do it again and again na it it looks like spamming but it's okay interact and shoo relax theek hai let's move forward now atmospheric pressure what is atmospheric pressure the envelope of air around earth it is exerting pressure and this pressure is what we are calling as atmospheric pressure the word tells you it is because of the atmosphere right so the weight of the air column over a unit area of earth surface at the sea level sea level you need to fix the ground right i mean if you you take a bottle you say the bottom is the bottom most part of the bottle here we are saying it is the sea level right that is where we say it is it is maximum all right theek hai now don't ask me if i dig a hole in earth so don't talk about that fine yes blanket of earth yes yes and shuman Uh, and you might have seen na uh, uh, those canisters uh, if you open the tap water does not come out until and unless you make a hole in the top so these things happen if ha uh, one more thing you will observe if you have a plastic bottle and you make a hole in the bottle and keep the cap closed water will not come out why atmospheric pressure so there is a pressure right so this is atmospheric pressure and it is because of the weight of the air column over a unit area of earth surface is creating this atmospheric pressure right so now same logic yes bhavishka it is coming and yeah you are right over there i got i got the question it's okay you can stop now <laughs> all right come on focus so we learned about liquids as you move if you go deeper and deeper the pressure increases now if you take this atmosphere right if you take this atmosphere the deeper and deeper or the closer to earth surface you go pressure will increase means can i say can i put it like this if you go towards height if you go towards mountains the pressure decreases correct yes sathik very true yes so atmospheric pressure decreases with height is just another way of putting the same thing right and that's the reason you might have heard that you know uh, sometimes if you go to heights nose starts bleeding why you are good right at your home nice and I mean, if so much pressure is there, it's more like two, three elephants sitting on top of you. But still, you are fine. Why? Because we have in our lungs air is there, in our blood vessels blood is there, and all this is counterbalancing the atmospheric pressure. So right now, it is more like you can say res resultant force zero, in a way. But if you go at top, the the force of atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure decreases, means it becomes small. Internal pressure is more, so blood comes out of the of the vessel sometimes, right? So that's why this is the answer. all right so bhavishka i think bhavishka was saying uh, atmospheric pressure while you are drinking water from a straw we tend to believe we are doing it we are sucking it you know what you are doing you are reducing the pressure inside the straw and everything else atmospheric pressure does for you this is an example or application of atmospheric pressure right lack of oxygen will give you nausea suhani 
हाँ सो अंशुमन योर बॉडी इज अकस्टम टू द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इट इज नॉट मेड टू गो डीप वॉटर डाइविंग डीप सी डाइविंग सो दैट इज एन एक्स्ट्रा प्रेशर विच स्टार्ट एक्टिंग ऑन यू एंड यू फील प्रेशराइज यस थैंक्स आई फॉर्गॉट एक्चुअली बट हाँ यस सो भविष्य यू आर राइट दिस इज एन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर This is, I think, you might have played, na. Uh, I mean, when we were little, uh, we used to go to these melas and everything, you know. वो तीर कमान लेके आते थे, you know. And there was like this sucker. It will just go and stick to the wall. I don't know uh, if you guys do it nowadays or not. Yes, Vishnu, that's true. So, uh, this thing we used to do. All right. So, these are all applications of atmospheric pressure. The weight of the air column over a unit area of Earth's surface at the sea level. And you know what? I can. Um, Tell you after this session, uh, you can also search for imploding drum and everything on YouTube. That's a good video. It will it will give you an idea of uh, how strong the pressure is, right? The, how strong the atmospheric pressure is. <laughs> All right. So this was everything. Ha, huh? fair. I like yes. How it happens? It happens because see. Take a column, right? Let's say one meter square, and this whole air column is above it. It is applying pressure on you from all the sides. That is what we are saying: atmospheric pressure, right? Okay, Nikhat. How it will work on on uh, this? You are saying straw. Let's say this is a straw. If you suck, what happens? You take the air inside out, right? You suck the air. What happened inside? Pressure became less, and atmospheric pressure was more. So that's why it forced the liquid. to go inside the straw right so what was the reason you suck the air reduce the pressure which created this imbalance and atmospheric pressure was able to force the liquid inside the straw and reach to your mouth yes oh nice bhavishka yeah so with this i would say i'm sweating also i think so with this i think i can say or i try to do we have got you covered right don't worry about this and term 2 is not difficult you are very much prepared for it just keep learning the way you have been doing it upcoming session would be master everything on direct and inverse proportions oh so ashu earning is doesn't matter you want to do something do it earning so it will happen it's a secret question we don't answer it <laughs> thank you bhavishka so on feb 10th you can attend this session it's very important right so uh, pushy ma'am will be there most probably so attend it right so guys if you feel this helps like share subscribe do fine all right thank you everyone thank you for joining we'll see we'll uh, you know we'll see you again